Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my video. So I am back today with a little haul video for you guys. I've done a tiny little bit of shopping recently and I just wanted to share with you some of the bits and pieces that I have picked up. So let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up that I wanted to share with you guys is a new fragrance. And as soon as I saw that they had released a new fragrance, I got so excited because all of the fragrances that I own from this person, I absolutely adore and I use them all the time. I still really like them even though some of them are really quite old fragrances now. Um, they're just beautiful, beautiful scents and very, very unique. I just absolutely adore them. So I was so excited when I saw that a new one was released and it is this one. This is the new Narciso Rodriguez perfume and I literally adore everything about this fragrance from the packaging to obviously the scent is beautiful, just everything about it is stunning. I'm not very good at describing fragrances so I'll just read to you what it says on the back of the box and then you can kind of get an idea of the type of scent that this is. And they describe this as the mystery of attraction captured in a fragrance. The rendezvous between velvety jasmine, sensual woods and powdery musk. Potentially I think people might quite like to wear this scent as maybe more of an evening fragrance because it is quite heavy. Um, I actually don't mind wearing a fragrance like this in the daytime as well though as it is coming up to summer and it's getting warmer it might just be that little bit heavy for the daytime for this time of year. So I think maybe it is one to possibly save for the evening at the moment, but I genuinely adore this fragrance. It really didn't disappoint me when I smelt it for the first time and I'm super excited to be using this. I know it will be one that I'm using very, very often. And if I just show you what the bottle looks like, this is probably one of my favorite bottle designs ever. Um, I also own the white version of it. I think there's a black version as well, which I really want to get because they just look so beautiful. I'll get the bottle out now so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So here's the bottle, and I just feel there's something about this bottle that is just so beautiful. And they look gorgeous on your dressing table. There's just something so simple about it, and I love the shape of it. Just everything about it, I think, is just perfect. They've just designed this so, so beautifully. So the next thing that I picked up was from Charlotte Tilbury and it is this, which is the Instant Look in a Palette 5 Minute Face on the Go Palette. And this is great because it contains seven different products which are for different areas of your face. And this is what the palette looks like. It's a lovely size palette. It's kind of one that I think has lots of products in it, but the size is still really easy to transport so it's not too big and not too small so you get kind of enough product but it's not too big that it's annoying to kind of carry around with you if that's what you want to do with it and inside here are three eyeshadows a face bronze powder two cheek colors and a face highlighter so this is a really great concept because it makes life much easier, that you can have everything all in one. And if I do a close-up now, you can see all of the colours that are in this palette. So as you can see, the three at the top there are for your eyes. And then the four underneath are all for your face. And what's great on this palette is that it kind of tells you what each product actually does. So obviously number one it says eye brighten, so that's great for brightening your eyes. And then two is eye enhance, three is eye smoke, four obviously is the bronzer. And then five is the cheek swish, six cheek pop, and seven face highlight. So it's great that it kind of tells you exactly what to do with each thing. It kind of makes life really, really easy. And obviously this is brand new, so I haven't actually started using it yet. But it's definitely one that I am really, really looking forward to giving a go. I love Charlotte Tilbury products anyway. They're really nice quality and I tend to get on very well with them. So I was very excited to see this palette and really looking forward to giving it a go. So the next product that I picked up was from By Terry. And I feel like By Terry is kind of one of those brands that isn't talked about a great deal on YouTube. It is quite a premium brand, which means that the products do come with quite a high price tag. And also it's not super readily available so it's kind of one of those things that you can't find just anywhere so maybe that's the reason I don't know but I have found that the products that I've bought in the past from By Terry are all great they're really lovely quality and they last a very very long time 
So I picked up one of their blushes, and this one is in the shade number one platonic blonde. And I'm going to do a close up of this because you have to kind of see the beauty of the product close up in order to appreciate it. So I'll do a close up now. So this is called their Youthful Radiance Powder Blush. The packaging of this is absolutely beautiful. It's really heavy. It feels very much like a very premium product and looks it as well. And it comes with a cute little brush, which I have to say, I do tend not to use, but actually this one is really quite lovely. So I may actually give this brush a go. And as you can see, this blush is just stunning. It's got this beautiful quilting detailing on it, and it just looks really, really expensive. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. I do tend to quite like the more slightly peachy toned blushes as we get into the warmer weather. Not quite sure why, but I just tend to gravitate towards those at this time of year. The next thing that I picked up was from Becca, and it is the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette and it's in a palette like this and it contains five eyeshadows all of which are really really wearable kind of either on their own or you can mix them together to make a sort of more smoky eye type of effect and for me this is just such a easy to go to super wearable palette which has kind of got all of the colors that you need if you want to do either a really natural eye or a much more kind of dramatic eye. For me, I feel like these are really flattering colours. They're kind of slightly warm toned. And I think this is one of those palettes that I'm just going to reach for a lot because you can do so much with it. It's very versatile and another one that I'm really looking forward to giving a go. The next product that I picked up was from Guerlain, another brand that I kind of feel like is slightly underrated and under talked about on YouTube. Again, it is quite a premium price point, but I have always found that the products that I've used in the past have been really beautiful. Again, great quality, and for me, products that I feel are worth investing in if you kind of want to go down the premium makeup brand route. And this is what I picked up. This is called the Guerlain Meteorite Base, and this says that it is perfecting pearls, anti-dullness. And I picked this up because it is a makeup base and I'm hoping that it's going to be very brightening. It says it's anti-dullness, so I'm hoping that it's going to be brightening. It's going to give me kind of nice glowy skin. At the minute, my skin is really, really dry. And it's kind of weird because normally I have more combination skin, but at the minute, it's so dry. I'm hoping that it's going to give me that kind of lit from within look. Um, because, yeah, my skin needs some help at the minute. I'm not going to lie. It's just dull and not great. And this is anti-dullness. So I'm hoping that the... Ooh! It says this has diamond powder in it. Fancy! As you can now see by the close-up, this is a very, very pretty looking product as well. It's a beautiful bottle, feels super expensive, looks really expensive. Another one that I actually think you could keep out on your dressing table because it just looks so beautiful. So definitely, definitely very excited to give this a go and hoping that it does what it says on the tin. So the last item of makeup that I wanted to share with you guys is this. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I have heard so many things about this mascara. I have to say, I did do quite a lot of research into this because I am really fussy with mascaras and I am so fed up of buying mascaras that I don't like. I buy them thinking I'm gonna love them and I look at the brush and it looks like a brush I would like and then I try them on and the formula is just gross. It's clumpy and I can't bear that. So I did a lot of research on this to see whether I actually wanted to invest in it because again it's not super cheap it's really lengthening it does create volume but for me it gives you just enough thickness on your lashes but doesn't go clumpy and I truly truly adore this and would totally recommend it I love the packaging let me get it out so you can see it's just it's really lovely everything about it it feels expensive another one it's it's nice and heavy but not too heavy and because it has these edges it doesn't roll off the dressing table when you put it down another bonus because that's annoying yeah this is definitely a product that i'm really enjoying using and i know that i will carry on using it a lot because i think this is definitely worth the hype so the next product that i picked up is definitely one that i 
ummed and ahed about for a very, very long time because for what it is, it is very expensive. And it is this. This is the Balmain Balmain, no, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, Spa Brush. And this is from their Hair Couture range. And it says that this handmade spa brush cleans the hair, stimulates the scalp, and increases the blood circulation to the hair roots. Regular brushing creates strength, suppleness, closes the cuticle, and produces a healthy shine and beautiful tangle-free hair. Now, this is huge, this hairbrush. Absolutely massive. And I quite like that. I wanted to find a new hairbrush, which seems a bit weird, but... I have quite long hair, as you can see, and at the minute it is driving me insane. It needs a good cut, actually, which I'm hoping may help a bit. But I've bought so many different types of hairbrushes in the past, and my hair gets really, really tangled. And when I brush it, it hurts because it's tangled, and it kind of pulls a lot out when I'm brushing it. And also, because I've just had a baby, I'm hoping this is completely normal, I think it is, because it happened to me with my first, um, I'm losing quite a lot of hair. And it's kind of scary when you're showering and your like hair is all coming out. Um, so I wanted a new brush that was kind of gentle on my hair. Um, and the brushes that I have at the minute, I just don't feel are looking after my hair that well. I don't know if this sounds a bit weird. Maybe it does, I don't know. But, yeah, I really just wanted to try a brush that was going to be much less harsh on my hair and to kind of do exactly what it says that this brush is going to do. As you can see, I haven't yet tried it because I've literally only just bought it. But I'm really hoping that this is going to look after my hair because I have to say, I am quite lazy with my hair. I tend to just do everything very quickly with it and I think my hair probably hates me for that. So I'm going to give this a go and hope that it's kind to my hair. But I'm actually really excited to use this because I feel it should be good, but we'll see. I'm gonna give it a go and I will let you know. So the last three things that I've got to show you guys are all pieces of clothing. So the first item of clothing I've got to show you was literally just from Next. It was really inexpensive. I can't remember exactly how much it was because I've taken the label off, but it is this, which is basically just a plain white top with a short sleeve. It's in like a reasonably warm fabric. So it's kind of good for this time of year when in the UK, it's not super hot, but it's not super cold. So it's kind of that mid-season thickness. And it is a top that is actually very long. Um, and as you go down, you can see that in the middle, there's this kind of mesh detailing. And further and further down the top, right at the bottom, it does this really lovely pattern. I think you can see that all the way around. And I just think this is one of those things that's going to be really, really comfortable to wear. It's kind of floaty enough to keep you cool. And on the back, it's also got kind of a little button detail going all down the back. And it's just one that I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of. For me, it's one that's definitely a daytime piece. I'm not sure you could kind of dress this up for an evening. But yeah, I just think it's a really kind of comfortable and quite practical daytime piece. Just for kind of running around. But it'll still mean that you look kind of nice and smart and presentable. So the next thing I picked up was a dress, and this is from Zara, and this was 49 99 So pretty, you know, good value for money. Lots of detailing going on on this dress. It's actually quite a good price point, and it is this dress, and it's basically a high neck dress. It's got this cute kind of little collar, black collar detailing, and then it has this beautiful kind of lace look detailing on the front and round the waist. And then it goes down to being a black skirt down the bottom. And for me, you absolutely can't go wrong with black and white. It always looks so elegant, really beautiful, kind of... You could actually dress this up. I feel like this dress is one of those that you could wear for a daytime event or an evening. So kind of a really versatile piece. I like that it's got little sleeves as well. And you would have to wear a strapless bra with this, I think, because it might look slightly unattractive being able to see bra straps through this. But it has got kind of an opaque panel here so that, you know, not everything's on show. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this piece. I think it's just very versatile kind of very elegant, 
but still kind of interesting, very sophisticated, and yeah, I really like this piece and I'm looking forward to wearing it. So the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is actually a swimming costume. In the past, I have always bought bikinis. I felt comfortable in bikinis, I like bikinis, but having recently had a baby, I just feel slightly more comfortable just covering up that little bit more. And I'm an absolutely no manic rush to get my body back to being how it was before I had a baby. I'm fine with how my body is, and I carried a baby for nine months. My body obviously isn't gonna be as it was, and that's absolutely fine with me. I think women are incredible for carrying babies, and it's a lot to go through. Your body goes through so many changes, and it's absolutely fine with me that it's going to take a while for my body to get back to being how it was pre-babies. I'm in no particular hurry, and I don't feel kind of pressured into getting my body back to being as it was. It will take time and that's okay. So anyway, um, I digress. My mum very kindly picked up a swimming costume for me. You can get so many beautiful swimming costumes now. They come in so many beautiful styles, shapes, cuts. They're gorgeous. So actually, I'm very happy to be wearing swimming costumes. And it is this one. This is really bright on camera. This is a very bright pink swimming costume, which has this absolutely beautiful bow detailing kind of round the boob area. I think this is so cute. It also comes with a strap situation here in case you wanted to wear kind of straps to keep things a bit more lifted and also so you feel a bit more secure. It also has kind of a built built-in sort of bra detailing, it's slightly padded, which I think will also be very, very flattering. Um, it clips at the back there. So I just feel like this is gonna be a swimming costume that kind of keeps you feeling quite secure because there's nothing worse than feeling like everything's gonna fall out. Um, so yeah, this is from Forever Unique as well. My mum bought this for me, which was very, very kind of her because I have subsequently found out that this was not cheap. Um, but the quality of it feels very, very nice. I haven't used it yet, but it does feel, like I said, very, very nice. It feels quite luxurious. It looks very well made. And the design on it is just so pretty. So I am very, very grateful to my mum for picking this up for me. And it's just very fun, beautiful summer colour. And I am really looking forward to wearing this. That's all for today's video, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a very happy thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again so, so much for supporting me and for continuing to leave me such lovely comments. I genuinely, it, I can't thank you enough for just the lovely, lovely things that you guys are writing to me in the comments. I, I read all of them. At the minute, I just, haven't found the time to be replying because with a new baby and a toddler no time for anything <laughs> um but i do read all of your comments and it genuinely means so much to me you guys are so kind to me and i can't thank you enough for that thank you so so much for watching this video and i hope you're having a lovely day whatever it is you're doing and i will see you again very soon in my next video take care guys bye